Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the closing ceremony of the 2021 FIDE Chess.com Grand Swiss and the inaugural Women's Grand Swiss. I hope you've enjoyed the past 14 days as much as our victors did, and I hope that these 14 days spent in Riga will be in your memory for a long time. Before we proceed to the awards and the speeches, we will hear a short extract from the opera Michal and Michal Play Chess, which will be performed by opera singers Armans Silinch and Martinš Zilberts. The opera's musical dramaturgy is precisely based on the 1960 Moscow World Championship match, in which Michal Tal won against the seemingly unbeatable Soviet and world champion Michal Botvinnik. So please, let's hear the extract from the opera. Thank you. Факультетах, 
которые поставляли до 40 процентов будущих студентов. Сотни тысяч людей разучивали новые для них правила шахматной игры. Среди них в результате матчей и турниров отбирались лучшие, а из лучших сам собой должен был Виделица гений, вот им и стал Михаил Батми. Каждая деталь перед матчем и во время него учитывалась и программировалась. И в каждом очередном противнике он видел врага, победа над которым вопрос жизни и смерти. Тотальная мобилизация личности приносила плоды. Как будто и в самом деле вся страна стояла, ляла за него плечами, когда он делал очередной ход. Страна, где ценила собранность, скромность, Семейность, цельность, правильность. В любой ситуации есть свое самое правильное решение, свой золотой ход. Именно его и вычислял братминник, выстраивая так называемое Дерево вариантов, а потом отбирая от него победочки, чтобы в сухом остатке получить идеальные решения. Причем это происходило за минуты, за секунды в невероятном интеллектуальном направлении. Это была атомная энергия мысли, прирожденная для достижения запланированных результатов. С тем же гигантским интеллектуальным потенциалом Ботвинник обращался к проблемами и за пределами шахматной доски. Thank you very much. What we just heard is the extract from the first part of the opera dedicated to Mikhail Botvinnik. And now I would like to invite FIDE president, Mr. Arkady Dvorkovich, to join me here on stage and to deliver the first, first speech of the closing ceremony. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's really a good evening uh, as uh, we uh, were witnessing um, the tournament uh, that uh, I believe uh, was a great success. Uh, and uh, I would like to thank uh, every one of you but let me start with uh, Dana Rezintsozola, uh, who was uh, like mother, grandmother, whatever, uh, of, of, this, of this tournament, Grand Swiss tournament here in Riga. Uh, and uh, she and her team uh, uh, did, well, I think uh, they did a miracle, uh, created um, the uh, 
set up the framework that allowed you to show your best qualities uh, to compete for the qualifying spots uh, in the candidates uh, tournaments uh, uh, and uh, to sh to show really great chess. Uh, it was a lot of uh, fighting uh, and uh, uh, I think spectators enjoyed uh, this event uh, very much. I'd like to thank our partners, sponsors, of course, uh, Chess.com, Scheinberg Family, uh, Latvian Chess Federation, um, uh, Coca-Cola as well for drinks. Uh, that's also uh, important. Uh, and uh, I think uh, our uh, joint efforts uh, allowed us to uh, provide for the best possible conditions for everyone despite the pandemics. Um, uh, for me, the tournament uh, started with this cup. Uh, I, uh, um, I made the choice for, for Fabiana, who didn't come for the opening ceremony. Uh, I, I took white color from this cup, uh, and um, uh, I think it was lucky for him. But of course, Saleriza uh, took the first place, and uh, both of you qualified for the candidate tournament. Congratulations to, uh, to you. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, uh, and, uh, and we had uh, six more players uh, who qualified for Grand Prix tournaments um, uh, that will take place uh, uh, in uh, the next year, uh, in uh, February, March, and April next, next year. And in the uh, women tournament, um, uh, we had uh, the winner, uh, and the only qualifying spot went to, uh, uh, to Lei. And um, congratulations uh, once again. Yeah, that was a great performance. One, ra one round before uh, the, the end, uh, that was really great. Um, I think uh, that uh, uh, the Grand Swiss tournaments um, uh, proved to be a very important part of the World Championship uh, cycles, and uh, a mix of um, uh, mix of um, um, knockout tournaments, round robin tournaments, uh, and uh, open tournaments. I think is a, is a good uh, um, a good framework uh, to hold the qualification for the uh, World Championship cycle overall. Uh, we will study the le uh, study uh, how it went. We will learn our lessons. We will <clears throat> wait for the feedbacks from from you, from the players, uh, from everyone, uh, to, uh, if needed uh, to improve uh, things. Uh, but again, thanks a lot for being patient, uh, for uh, being brave, and showing your best uh, uh, best qualities and fighting uh, uh, for the best possible places. Uh, Good health, good luck, uh, and uh, we are looking forward to see you uh, at the next events, uh, including the World Rapid and Blitz Championship that, uh, well, 99.9% .9 it will be uh, in Kazakhstan this year from 25th to 30th of December. We will announce it officially very soon. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zorkovic. Thank you, Mrs. Workridge. And now I would like to invite the FIDE Managing Director and Deputy Chair of the FIDE Management Board, Dana Reznice Uozula, to come and join us here on the stage. Mr. President, <laughs> distinguished players, guests, all the team and uh, supporters and fans of chess, uh, I would also like to warmly congratulate all the winners. Um, of the tournament. Uh, this has not been an easy journey for uh, all of you. This, this has probably been one of the most difficult uh, tournaments uh, in the last uh, year or, or, or so. Quite a distance, uh, distance to be passed, passed, passed by, by you. But I would of course uh, like to um, uh, use this time to convey my uh, gratefulness uh, to all the people who, uh, who actually uh, made this event uh, happen. First of all, to Emil, my colleague Emil and uh, Mr. President, for your idea to move uh, the tournament to, to Riga from Isle of Men when it was understood that uh, uh, being held there, the tournament was impossible. So we even called this tournament Isle of Riga internally. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, to all the sponsors, Scheinberg family and chess.com for supporting the event here. All the rest were also um, mentioned already by, 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 the, by the president. But uh, most of all, I would like to uh, convey my gratefulness, uh, gratefulness to, the, to the team. There is a saying that uh, if you have one stable point, you can turn the round, uh, world ar around. And with such an amazing team, uh, I had this feeling that we could turn the, the, the world around, and even if in the in the most difficult situation, we were we had the courage to say yes that we will make this tournament uh, under this uh, difficult uh, conditions as well. Courage 
based only on enthusiasm may lead to a disaster. But we had the courage based not only on the enthusiasm, but also on the great ex experience, expertise, and professionalism. So uh, thank you all to feed the team, Alex Martino, the uh, David, uh, uh, press team, marketing team, everyone who is uh, now still working behind the scenes. Here on spot, uh, Egons, Ka Karina, Alexandra, Anastasia, Nadezhda, and all the others, you are just amazing. I'm so proud of you. I think that we have raised the bar of the standards here uh, for FIDE, for the chess world, and um, I hope that we will be able to keep it uh, uh, strong and, and make the other sports and other um, uh, countries uh, uh, jealous of us in a positive uh, way. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dana. And now I would like to invite the tournament director, Egons Levandelis, to give a speech as well. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. President, dear chess players, chess friends. Ladies and gentlemen, the tournament has came to the end, so first of all, I guess I have to say that it feels much better to be here with you than in the opening ceremony, which I had to watch over Zoom, but of course, uh, safety first, so I'm very happy to be here, and uh, still it doesn't mean my speech will be much longer than um, Latvian Grandmaster Games, which were the longest in this tournament. <laughs> I cannot match them in, this, in the length of my speech. And uh, one more thing is that it's very hard to speak after Dana because she said many things that I wanted to say because uh, also from my side, I would like to say thank you to many uh, friends that made it, it happen. First of all, to FIDE, to the sponsors that had this courage to give our team this event to organize from scratch in two months. Even initially, it seemed to be a bit crazy idea to organize a level of the tournament that we have never done in two months. And then with every day, new restrictions were coming. But uh, well, we still managed it. And how did we do so? The second thanks goes to the team. And the way how I would characterize that team is that with every new restriction, we took it as a new challenge that made our job more interesting. Like a level up in the game. And I have to say that this level reached quite hard one. But still, the team managed it. And yesterday, one of my colleagues said, okay, we are the best organizing team in Latvia. And Dana corrected her. We are the best in the world. At least for me, you all guys are the best. You are amazing. And I'm speaking about organizing team, officials, arbiters, volunteers, many thanks to you. And the last thing is the players who had the courage to come here. Because you probably realize that it will be a different tournament than usual ones. And it was. Thank you for your patience, for your understanding, because your cooperation was essential. And I hope that you like the tournament. And if you did, you're welcome back to further tournaments in Latvia. Thank you very much once more, and congratulations to all the winners. Thank you. Thank you very much, Egons, Dana, Arkady. Thank you all. And uh, now we're going to move to the second part of our ceremony. Thank you. Uh, now we will he hear the second extract from the opera Michael and Michael Play Chess. This second part is the characterization of the Mikhail Tal, the legendary Latvian chess player who is also known as the Wizard of Riga. I kindly invite Armand Silinch, Jurich Adamsons, and Martin Zilbert to join us on the stage. А вы поняли, насколько важен был 
Двадцать первый ход. Есть люди, которые могут смешать все карты, которые могут прийти достать луну с неба и прикурить от нее. Странные люди со странной судьбой из непростых семей. Наверное, не так уж много и сидящих в зале были женаты три раза. Или жили всю жизнь тремя пальцами на правой руке. И становились чемпионами мира 23 года. Или жили всю жизнь с тремя пальцами на правой руке. Когда ты воспринимаешь то, что другим кажется, кажется неправильным, просто как факт, своей жизни. Вернее так, когда ты делаешь хочешь, воспринимаешь то, что другие. Кажется неправильным просто, как факт, как факт. Факт своей жизни. А еще лучше так. Когда ты пытаешься сделать вид, сделать вид, что воспринимаешь то, что другим кажется неправильным, просто как факт. Своей жизни В общем, ты начинаешь плевовать Ты стараешься идти быстрей Чтобы тебя не догнали И не рассмотрели И не задали ненужные вопросы ты задаешь вопросы сам первым. Ты делаешь ход, которого не должно здесь быть. Потому, потому что это даже не ход. Даже не ход, это черт знает, что такое слышали. Вы о теории хаоса говорят, что это политика 21 века. Нелогичный ход, смешивающий планы противника и заставляющий его ошибаться. Первым 
его стал применять. А -а 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 -а. Он не искал лучший вариант. Он искал парадоксальную возможность. Он запросто ставил под удар свои важные фигуры, жертвовал ими, и его противники входили в ступор, пытаясь понять, что за план придумал хитроумный таль. Они вязли в бесконечных расчетах, а таль понимал, что до конца все рассчитать невозможно. Он сводил с ума своих противников непредсказуемым блеском блефа. Его откровенно побаивались. Один пришел на игру в темных очках. Боялся, что Таль его загипнотизирует. И Таль действительно во время игры надолго задерживал взгляд на сопернике. Но дело было не в гипнозе. было не в гипнозе. Таль знал, что шахматная доска отражает мир, а мир не логичен. Мир Таля был изначально неправилен и потому свободен для возможностей и комбинаций. Решающие моменты надо было идти по открывающемуся коридору неизвестность. Идти, идти, идти. Идти с шуточками, с обжигающим теплом коньяка в гортане и с сигаретой в пальцах. Потому что свободу нельзя просчитать, и она далеко не всегда является лучшим ходом. И вот он искал, он шел по неизвестным землям. Он ошибался и все-таки целый год он был чемпионом мира. Thank you very much. This was the second extract from the Michal, that is Michal opera. And finally, we reach the part of the ceremony the players, I guess the winners, have been mostly looking forward to, the prize giving part. I would like to first invite, again, Arkadis Vorkovic to join us here on stage to give the awards. Arkadi. Ah, uh, Bashar Kuatli will be joining us as well. Thank you. Also, I would like to invite the arbiters to join us. The chief arbiter, international arbiter Alex Holovchuk from England, and the deputy chief arbiters, arbiter Nebusha Baralic and arbiter Anna Srebrenic.
I kindly ask for your attention now, please, because it's time to announce the winners. And we start with the women's section. The third place in the inaugural Women's Grand Swiss goes to the third place Grandmaster from China, Zhu Tinye. <laughs> Congratulations to you. And now it's time to announce the winner of the second place in the Women's Grand Prix. Grand Prix. And the second place goes to... International Master from Germany, Elisabeth Pitz. <laughs> Congratulations to Elizabeth. And finally, the winner of the inaugural Women's Grand Swiss held here in Riga is Grandmaster from China, Lei Tingji. I kindly ask all of you now to stand for the National Anthem of the Republic of China. That was the national anthem of the People's Republic of China. And now it's time to announce, announce the award winners in the open section of the 2021 FIDE Chess.com Grand Swiss. And the third place goes to Grandmaster from Russia, Grigory Oparin.
Congratulations to Grigori. And now it's time to announce the winner of the second place. Please. Master from United States of America, Fabiano Caruana. And finally, please give a big applause to the winner of this year's Grand Swiss Tournament here in Riga, the Grand Master from France, Ali Vesa Ferruja. I kindly invite all of you now to stand as we listen to the French national anthem. I now invite all of the winners of the prizes to come to the stage for a joint picture, please. So Elizabeth, Leigh, Fabiano, Grigori. Where are the ladies? I don't know. Are the ladies with us? Ju, Elizabeth, Lei. I think they're coming, yes. They're coming now. <laughs> well, these are the ladies worth waiting for.
Thank you, everyone. This is the end of our ceremony. Thank you, everyone, for being part of this great event. May we have many like this, and may we always remember that wherever we are, we're all one family. Again, sooner, sooner. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>